guys, today I want to talk to you about pomegranate seed oil from Avat. I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about Avat the company, then I'm going to talk about the product itself. Finally, I'm going to give you my opinion of it. My name is Sharon, welcome back to my channel. Make sure you guys subscribe below and turn on notifications to get the latest updates. Okay, so let's get started. I call it Avat, A-V-A-T. The full name is Appalachian Valley Natural Products Anatolian Treasures. So I've also seen it referred to as AVNP. Now to further complicate the matter, there's another website out there called Ancient Healing Oils. And they kind of appear to be copycats of each other. Now the story behind these two websites is interesting. So Avat used to be owned by a man called Butch Owens and Ancient Healing Oils was and is still owned by a man called John Krosky. Now what happened is Avat used to be a wholesale only company um, and Butch decided to retire, so John purchased the company. Rather than keeping, or sorry, rather than merging these two websites in business, he kept them separate. And my opinion is they both had been around for a while, they both had good reputations, so he just decided to keep things as is. He did make one important change, and now it is open to the public. The wholesale prices are still the same though. So anybody can order from them, there's no minimum, and you don't have to have a business. Like myself, um, I don't have a business or anything, I simply purchase for myself and my family. They have free shipping for um, orders of $39 or more within the continental US. After that, you have something called um, shared international shipping. So he will give you a quote, um, and then somehow you guys split the cost of shipping, of course, any taxes, duties, and fees, or whatever, on your end of that country um, are your responsibility. He also gives you three free samples of the 75 cent variety. So let me explain myself. These are both um, the samples. So the essential oil is three tenths of a milliliter. That is not a lot. Um, and they say their uh, carrier oils are about one milliliter. I feel like it depends because I have some that were filled to the shoulder. And I also think it just looks like more than one milliliter. Now, of course, more precious, more expensive oils, for example, prickly pear carrier oil, Roman chamomile, um, essential oil, or heliochrysum, or rose, those are going to be more expensive. However, with samples, the two great things are you can try before you buy. Now, I do realize companies out there like Enos Garden and Plant Therapy, they're pretty cheap. Like, if I want to get lemon, you know, essential oil, it's chances are it's going to be less than $10. I think it's about $7 or $8 maybe for 10 milliliters. However, with a vat, I only pay 75 cents, so I can try it. And I'm also not wasting precious resources, and I've really come to appreciate that. There's a lot of, you know, resources um, and plant resources that go into creating essential oils and curio oils. Um, now, what they do in order to keep their, what, their costs down is they have a very basic website. Now, I found out about them through a Facebook group called Real Aromatherapy Reviews and More 2.0. And this is not affiliated with any brands. They talk about um, many different essential oil companies and brands and just review them. Um, and they talked about a vat. Um, and I do really like that their, their costs are low, but on the other flip side of it, they're, they're not that active on social media. So they do have Facebook, they do have Instagram, not very active. They also put out a newsletter. Um, another thing is their, their website itself is super basic. It cannot hold a candle to Eden's Garden or plant therapy. They have a basic information. You're going to usually find the country of origin. You're going to find the extraction, such as um, expeller pressed or cold pressed. You're also going to find um, whether it's refined or unrefined. And then some basic descriptions. As far as safety information goes, he does not distinguish whether it's kid safe or not. If it is really important, like birch um, or wintergreen, he actually cautions you: don't purchase this oil unless you have experience with it. You know, because it can be toxic. Um, juniper berry, he says, don't drive if you get a massage with this. People feel out of it. They feel high like it's not it's not something that should be done uh, safely um, but you should always double check the information um, with other websites out there um, not all essential oils are safe for everyone um, they are natural but there's certain groups of people that have to be very careful when they use them and I'm gonna link below and you guys can check that out so I've given you guys a lot of information about that now I want to talk about the oil that I got so this is as you guys can see, I've used this I think once or twice, so not very often. So it's about a little over halfway full, and this is how much it has in it when I got it. So they say it's a milliliter. I really feel like they're giving you more oils. I'm not sure exactly how big this container is. I kind of feel like it's five milliliters, but I haven't measured it um, because I haven't gone through any of these oils yet. Now I had heard a lot about pomegranate seed oil, and I was super, super excited to try it. Um, and the texture really put me off. So I want to tell you guys some basic information about it. The shelf life is approximately two years, and it does depend on how you store it. I store all of my um, essential oils and curry oils in the refrigerator. They're away from heat and light. Heat and light um, are two things that can shorten the shelf life of your oils. 
This is from India, it's organic, it's cold pressed and unrefined. So this is awesome. Organic is great, cold pressed, you keep on the nutri nutrients and same with unrefined. Unrefined oils for me are what I prefer. They maintain you know, all of their integrity rather than being um, going through the refinement process. Of course, some oils do have to be refined. Um, so for example, almond, castor oil, emu oil are often refined. Now, it is high in something called punicia um, acid, I believe it is, P-U-N-I-C-I-A. Never heard of this before. Um, I do not know that much about the fatty acid profile, which is the composition of the essential oils. If that's something you know a lot about, um, leave a comment below or just check it out. But it has 85% of this, and it is an omega-3 acid and it's good for anti-inflammatory. So it says it's really good for psoriasis and eczema and that's one reason I purchased it. One of my daughters has pretty bad eczema so I'm trying to try, um, you know, simple ingredients. So in case she has a reaction I can kind of pinpoint it. I had also heard of it from a Facebook group called Lipid Lovers Home of the Real Oils. I'm going to link to that again below. Um, and they say it's really good for like anti-aging and skin condition. It's just like amazing because of this omega-5 um, that it has in it. So I had super high expectations. Um, unfortunately, so this is, it doesn't have that much of a scent. I was really hoping it for it to have more of a scent. They do have a cucumber oil, um, and I don't know whether it's refined or unrefined. My guess is it's not, and it smells very much like cucumbers. This has a very slight scent. The issue that I have with it, it is super thick. I'm not sure if you guys can see. Let me see if I have something else to compare it to. So this is pumpkin seed oil, and you can kind of see it's a lot, I just feel like this uh, pomegranate seed oil has the consistency of castor oil. Um, and I do understand that castor oil is absolutely amazing, you know, for your hair and skin and everything like that, but it's difficult for it to absorb. So I believe, um, and I use this straight on my face. Um, I patch tested a whole bunch of the carrier oils that I got, and, and I just, the texture put me off. I would have to cut this or dilute it with some other type of carry oil because I do want to get the benefits from it, um, but just the, the texture is something I can't get past. So I have given you guys a ton of information about Avat, the company. I've told you guys some information about the pomegranate seed oil, the product, um, and I've also given you my opinion of it. Now I want to hear from you guys. Two things. First, have you ever purchased anything from Avat? If you have, let me know what you purchased and your opinion of it. And second, have you ever used pomegranate seed oil? And let me know um, what you do or how you use it and your recipe because I really would like to use this um, and I'm just not exactly sure what to do with it. So please leave a comment below. I do enjoy hearing from you guys. Uh, like this video and give it a big thumbs up. Also subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications to get the latest updates. I will see you guys later.